right, I'm here to show you how to operate one of these kegs. First thing we'll take a look at is our equipment list. We've got a bucket to keep the keg cool. You put it inside and throw ice around it and you're good to go. Well, ice and water, that's key, ice and water. Then we got the keg, of course. We got the tap and we've got the CO2 tank like this. Okay, first things first is setting it up. So you're going to take the, the keg and there are two posts on the top. One is marked in and it says on the front there and then one is marked out. Alright, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the in from the CO2 tank into the keg and you're going to attach it like so. So all you have to do is you pull this ledge up, pull this ledge up, hold it and then press down until you feel a click type sound like that. Okay, and then next thing you're going to do is you're going to attach the out. Alright, so the out is the tap, and same thing, you lift the, there's a ledge here, just take a closer look, there's a ledge here, and you lift it up, and then you push down over the keg post. But now before I do that, it's very important that we know, with the tap, you have the on position, which is uh, away from the keg, and the off position, which is towards the keg. Very important that you leave it in the off position when attaching it to the keg, or else you might shoot beer everywhere. All right, so this is on, this is off, okay? So we're gonna lift up, push down, feel the click, and then next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure uh, the CO2 tank is turned all the way to the right in the off position. And the f first thing we're gonna do here is we're going to start to calibrate the CO2 pressure, make sure we've got it, the right pressure for pouring. So we've got a little um, pin on the top here, and it's a little ring, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna push it, or pull it out, and you're gonna listen for the CO2 gas to release. Like so, very, that, in this case, very quiet. So we want that to uh, release, and now we're going to calibrate the correct pressure from the keg. So we're gonna turn it uh, counterclockwise, and now we've got a little screw here. This screw is the uh, pressure regulator. And any coin, except for a loony, will do in order to uh, calibrate our pressure. So don't mind this gauge, it doesn't really work. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn it on, turning this clockwise until we hear a hissing sound, so then we know there's CO2 going into the tank, into the keg. Okay, there we've got the hissing sound. That means we're good to start pouring. So now, take a look to see what kind of pressure we got. All right, basically none. So we're gonna turn this a little bit more clockwise. And there we've got some pressure, but we want more. So a little bit more clockwise. And there we go, we're serving at a nice pour here. You wanna adjust the pour based on how much head you got there. If you have too much head, then turn it to the left. Okay, that's off. This is just sanitizing solution, so uh, not wasting any beer in the demonstration video. Okay, so yeah, to the left is, is down, right is off. So I'm just going to dump this out. Okay, a couple quick uh, things to go over. The most common question is what goes, what are the most common things that go wrong? So first of all is you lose all the CO2 from the tank, okay, and how that happens is right there we see the keg is now empty. So if I had left this tank on and the tap open, I will eventually drain the entire keg. So we have to make sure as soon as the keg is empty, somebody is in charge of paying attention when that is because you're going to need to undo the CO2 connection right away and make sure the tap is closed. Undo that tap and remove it like that. And then you're good to go. Uh, the other most common problem is switching the ins and outs. So one thing to know is you know, beer comes out so it attaches to the out, but it's a very similar fitting to the, the in. So you can get it on there almost all the way and then ah, really force it down but then once you got it on good luck getting it off plus it won't operate correctly so please don't do that because it damages the uh, the connectors and please do enjoy uh, your nice John Maynes Brewing Co. beer 
Have a good day.